What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a one month review of the absolutely stunning, and yes, they're stunning because I designed them, white and gold, ID Nike Phantom Luna 2. Now, this is a pair of football boots that I wish did not have a collar, but that's really the only gripe I have with them because they're AG. They've been used a lot on AG, as you can see from the staining. They're custom, which is sick and they are just absolutely amazing to play in. And today we are gonna start off with the sole plate. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is the same sole plate that came with the Phantom GX1 AG model. I wore a pair of GX1 AGs in, they were all black with a pink accent for our title winning season last year with Flower City Union. I wore them in the final, in the championship. They are a boot that is gonna stay with me forever. I love them. I'm probably never gonna use them again because the last time I wore them was literally the championship, which is sick. This is the same sole plate that is on those boots. Now, the only gripe I have with this sole plate is it is a little bit lackluster as far as snapback goes, especially here in the forefoot area. However, pretty stiff through the midfoot and it's one of those boots or excuse me, one of those sole plates that just does well on AG surfaces. I wore this sole plate on an FG surface. It was a really nice FG surface, so you kind of have to gauge whether you're playing on really nice grass or not nice grass from an FG perspective. But I actually found that the AG did totally fine on FG. So that's why I recommend most people for the Luna and the GX2, both the Luna 2 and the GX2, that Cyclone 360, if you play on a hybrid of the two surfaces, get the AG because you're going to be just fine on FG as well. But for me, great sole plate, lots of good memories with this one. It's going to get an 8 out of 10. The heel area is one where I think Nike have finally figured out how to do the high cut and the low cut. They figured out now, finally, a way that the heel area for the GX2, which is the same boot without the collar, and the Luna 2, this one, with the collar, are the, the heel area is the exact same. Back in 2018, I think, 2018-ish, when Hypervenom 2 came out, and let's just use Hypervenom 1, for example. Oh no, that was only low cut. Hypervenom 2. Hypervenom 2 launched in that wolf gray and orange color, and the heel areas for the low cut and the high cut were totally different. That was the same for my favorite boots, the Hypervenom 3. They finally figured out, hey, we gotta make the low top heel, we, we gotta make it feel like a low top heel area so that it's much better fitting. And they've absolutely nailed it with this. It's the same heel that's in the GX2, which I absolutely love and wear on a very regular basis. Um, and despite it having a collar, it feels no different in the heel. Does a nice job of wrapping my foot. I think the padding is nice and kind of robust. It's almost like a memory foam-ish, but a little more, um, a little more responsive and a little more solid than memory foam. And for my foot shape, it just crushes. So for me, this is gonna get an eight out of 10 for the heel. The upper for the Nike Phantom Luna 2 is unbelievable. It is one of, oh, if not the best upper Nike has ever produced in my opinion. You could argue Vapor 11, you could argue Vapor 13, you could even argue the new Vapor 16. But this upper, for some reason, the combination of it being not the thinnest, but like the perfect amount of ball feel, the, the grip elements, the fact that it's a one piece upper, so it just wraps your foot seamlessly straight out of the box. This is, to me, this is going to go down as one of the best Nike uppers of all time for my own personal preferences. And I think just in general, Nike... I think they know, because they put it on the Vapor 16 as well, they know how good this grip knit upper is, and dude, there's nothing I can say about this upper that's wrong. The only thing, which we'll talk about in a little bit, is like lockdown, but because my feet fit in here so well, the lockdown's amazing, but for some people you might find that if you have too thin of a foot, the upper's just not going to wrap your foot in the right way. I know Lockhart Boot, Andrew from... Lockhart boot blog. Uh, he doesn't really like the fit of these because his feet just are different shaped than the GX2 and Luna 2. So I get it, totally understand. But from a materials perspective and the like this upper, I'm going, I'm going nine out of 10 for these. These are one of the best. These are one of my favorite uppers on the market, hands down. 
Okay, lockdown for the Luna 2 is actually really decent, despite it being a one-piece upper with no kind of dedicated support system, if you will. I understand that they have the uh, high-tenacity yarns that are woven into the grip knit upper, so the grip knit is like fly knit, grip knit and also high tenacity yarns all woven together and so it does create an upper that doesn't overstretch but because it doesn't have any fly wire coming down the lateral or medial sides some people are going to get a little bit of slippage the slippage that i get is like almost unnoticeable like it's pretty perfect for my foot shape but that's also just the boots in general um and and so for me it's going to get a really really high rating but i do understand i am going to knock it down a point because i do understand for some people the lockdown just isn't going to be as good as it needs to be or even as good as say previous phantoms right phantom venom was really good hyper venom phantom 3 had good lockdown um and despite it being probably the worst football boot of all time outside of predator edge uh, and, and some of the Puma boots, like Puma Ultra, Ultimate, um, Hyper Venom Phantom 2 had amazing lockdown because the upper was so stiff. So, you get the idea. For me, the lockdown is an 8 out of 10. Break in time for the Phantom Luna 2 is going to be no surprise. This is easily, easily one of the best boots on the market for me because I can wear this straight into a game, and I have actually with a pair of GX2s, worn a pair of GX2s straight into a game, straight out of the box, with zero hot spots or break-in issues. So that's a 9 out of 10 for me for break-in time. Durability and build quality of the Luna 2 AG feels very, very good. And one of the biggest things that I wanted to talk about in today's video is the difference between a Luna 2, kind of a normal production Luna 2 and an ID Luna 2. Now, this Luna 2 is made in China, so it's not a made in Bosnia like custom pair. Obviously, this is just a Nike by you that I got on the Nike AU website. Um, very, very standard for anybody who's doing like custom colorways. If you wanted to copy this color, I've already had people on Instagram actually uh, DM me photos of their Luna 2s that they've customed in the exact same colorway as this, which is awesome. I love that. It's a beautiful colorway. So, from a durability and build quality perspective, let's kind of combine these two. So from a durability perspective, these have been excellent. I have found that GX1s, Luna 1, GX2, and Luna 2 to be some of the most durable Nike boots in a really long time. The reason for that is because of the construction that I described before of this grip knit upper. It doesn't fray. It doesn't rip. It doesn't really tear or like there's no blemishes in it it performs beautifully over a long period of time like the pair of black and pink custom ones that i have with the ag that i told you about that i wore in the final it's losing a little bit of that waxy feeling that you get straight out of the box but it's still grippier than every other boot on the market so you're going to lose a little bit of that grippy sensation over time, but those boots are still going strong, and I wore those hard for like 12 months. So that's something that when you're considering a really durable boot, I think the GX2 and the Luna 2 are fantastic. Um, and from a build quality perspective, build quality, materials, that kind of stuff, it feels super premium. Yes, there are, I think, more premium knits on the market than what's on than what the current fly knit is on their football boots, but it does a good job. It works, it functions really well, which is at the end of the day really all you need. And then from a sole plate perspective, pretty good. Would like a little bit more kind of pizzazz in the sole plate, if you will, even in the AG one. Um, but honestly, for me, from a durability and build quality perspective, these are gonna get an 8.5 out of 10. Shape and fit for the Luna 2 is obviously an easy one. It fits me perfectly, as I've said many, many times, straight out of the box. So for me, shape and fit has to get a nine out of 10. Now, little asterisk there, it is on the wider side. So if you are wanting all the aspects of this boot that make it what it is, just go with the Vapor 16, because the Vapor 16 is like a narrower GX2 Luna 2. It's awesome. So 9 out of 10 for shape and fit. I think these are excellent. They're excellent. And they are back to now what I think the Phantom always should be. So competition for the Luna 2. GX2 is obviously the same boot. So I'm going to kind of toss that one aside because this is going to fall. Uh, this will fall probably top of the list outside of a few things. So let's go through the competition. You have GX2 obviously from Nike. You have the Puma Future Ultimate. You have the New Balance Tequila 
version 4 plus which is the newest one um, both laceless and laced model you have the adidas predator and again some of these are knit some of these are textile based i always say that based textile based mesh synthetics some of them like the predator are pure synthetic uh, and then obviously these are knit like the tequilas so those are kind of i would probably also rope the under armor shadow elite two in that category as well only because it's not quite a speed boot it's not quite a control boot they market it as like an agility boot but it's very similar in construction to these other ones so that's sort of roped in there as well these and the gx gx2s are at the top of the list for me a close second is the predator and a close third is the tequila and then i would say solidly in like third place uh, solidly in like fourth place, but the top four like really good is the Under Armour boots. They're all really good. I'd wear any of them any day of the week, but that's kind of where these fall. So again, top marks for these again. All right, guys, performance for the Luna 2 is absolutely awesome. I love wearing these any day of the week. They are fantastic. Shooting feels excellent. Dribbling feels excellent. Touch on the ball feels excellent. It, there's really nothing to complain about literally the only thing i'm going to complain about with these is i just don't like the collar as much as i like the low top model and that's it it's really one of those things like you put a gun to my head and you say you have to wear luna to the rest of your life okay cool it's an amazing football boot uh, i would happily wear these over you know something like I don't know, like pretty much everything else on the market. So for me, despite them having a collar, which I'm not usually a fan of, excellent, excellent, excellent football boots. So from a performance perspective, they are going to get an 8.5 out of 10. All right, overall scores for the Luna 2 in this beautiful custom colorway. Now the Luna 2 in general is a wonderful football boot. I like this sole plate a lot better than the Cyclone 360 sole plate, despite the Cyclone 360 actually performing quite well on real firm ground pitches like real grass i think this is just the way to go for most people the ag model is absolutely awesome and i think overall this is going to suit the most people given that a lot of fields nowadays like the one behind me are artificial so from an overall rating perspective the only reason it's not going to get a 9 out of 10 is literally the collar and the cyclone 360 sole plate which i realize this is the ag and it's a custom model all that stuff but I'm just gonna knock it down half a point. So the overall rating of the Luna 2 is an 8.5 out of 10. Very, very good football boots and I will happily wear these any day of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Discount code for 20% off the grip socks that I'm wearing in today's video down in the description box below. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.